Heavily inspired by real life, Minecraft has become a pretty popular game, and if you haven't heard of it, I recommend you just buy yourself a copy and dive in. But what you're looking at right now isn't beta. This is. There's no hunger, and the colors are more vibrant, and there's the original texture pack, and there's no sprinting, and most of all, there's no goals. In an almost indirect way, modern Minecraft has given the player a lot of goals. Beat the Ender Dragon, acquire max armor, build all these farms, abuse all these villagers. There's so many things that the game wants you to do, but in beta, there's nothing. Whatever you want to do, do it. And yes, before anyone says it, I know that modern Minecraft is built in a way that if you don't want to follow the goals that they give you, then you don't have to. But I think that when the game gives you the options to be more efficient, it makes it so that you aren't just playing to play, you're playing to maximize your experience as much as possible. Because why would you build with an iron pickaxe when you can wait down the line and build with netherite tools, an elytra, a creeper and sugarcane farm, and unlimited rockets. I don't know how universal this feeling is, but I noticed that when I play the newer versions of Minecraft, I was so busy preparing for what I wanted to do that I never did it. And if I ever did get close to doing it, then I got scared because unlike a farm, I can't open YouTube and watch a tutorial on the one thing that's in my mind, leaving me with countless worlds unfinished. But in beta, you have no other option than to be creative. Welcome to my house, obviously. I haven't played too much on this world, but I'll just give you guys a little tour. So right here is where I craft things. This is where I store things. This is where I cook things. And this is where I sleep. When I play beta, my plans are still ambitious, but somehow they seem more doable. I don't really know why, but I think maybe it's because the slow and simple nature makes it so that you have to take time to enjoy the process. Or maybe not. I don't know. I really like beta and they do a lot of things really well. The fewer blocks forces creativity and almost eliminates that feeling of being overwhelmed and the game is simply harder and the beautiful world generation that almost feels like another world is so fun to explore and look around and the nostalgia you feel while playing it whether it's a version that you grew up on or not is huge. And all the things that this game does so well makes you feel like a child again. But when the Minecraft trailer says that This is the most significant sandbox you'll ever set foot in. They're talking about beta. They're not talking about these newer versions of Minecraft because they simply aren't the same. For me, when I play beta, my worries go away. I feel more creative and I feel a larger sense of wonder. And I have fun. And I simply feel like I'm playing the best sandbox game I've ever played. And it's not something that I ever knew I could feel until I went back to this older version. I still enjoy modern Minecraft a lot, in fact I think I probably enjoy it more, but I don't think that it has the same effect that beta does, and I think that in adding to Minecraft and trying to make it better, we lost what made it so great.